Today's episode is about the single most important animal in the ocean, a group of species that are being bleached and blasted into oblivion. My name's Bertie, and this is Borneo from Below. Coral reefs are living, breathing beds of bedazzling beauty. They're formed when tiny coral organisms, called polyps, attach to rocks then bud into thousands of clones. The results can be mind-bendingly bright and brilliant. Diving on one has been likened to floating through a field of rainbows on the back of a unicorn. Although these underwater oases cover less than 0.1% of the Earth's surface, they provide a home for around 25% of all marine species worldwide. Sadly, some of these exquisite reef systems are under threat. Dynamite fishing is an indiscriminate, illegal practice that causes massive long-term damage to coral reefs and all that they contain. Thankfully, here in Sabah, there are organisations that are fighting back. Today I'm joined by legendary marine conservationist Mr David Maguire and we're here on Pom Pom Island off the coast of Borneo and we're investigating what's being done to save coral in the area. So David, welcome back to Borneo from below. Thanks, great to be back. Uh, now this is quite an important area for coral. Yes it is. We're in the Coral Triangle. This is the center, for, uh, the center of marine biodiversity. It has more species of hard corals, even in the Great Barrier Reef. It has a huge amount of endemism or species that only live here. 100 million people depend upon the health of this reef. Well, without further ado, let's go and meet the people who are tasked with protecting the area's coral. Come on. Frank's a Malaysian non-profit organization. We came to Pom Pom in 2011. The reefs were very badly damaged. We thought that with the skills and talent that we had, we could make a difference. So with the help of lots of Malaysian and international volunteers, we plant reefs, we protect turtles, and we're working with David on sharks. The Tropical Research and Conservation Centre, or TRAC for short, are working to rebuild and restore the reefs around Pom Pom. The reefs that formerly fringed this impossibly pretty island have since been reduced to rubble through dynamite fishing and other destructive practices. To help the coral recover, Track have come up with a few very resourceful methods. Taking plastic bottles from the beach, a few plastic crates, plenty of empty beer bottles and an awful lot of eco-friendly cement, they have created and planted a number of artificial reefs all around the island. These catalysts of coral growth take the form of either bottle crate reefs, step reefs, or ribbon reefs made of little cement biscuits. We caught up with junior scientist Jason to find out how the various projects have been getting on. So how's it all going so far, Jason? Oh, it's great. Um, past three years, we've been constructing a lot of artificial reefs around here, and then see great changes, especially in turtles and fishes, Big surgeon fish, rabbit fish, groupers, snappers, emperors. Um, so we can see the corals are really growing back. And then there are some species that we don't really know what they are. So that was really interesting, speaking a little bit to Jason and finding out about some of the great work that Track have done. And also hearing that there's completely new species out there that science knows nothing about. So I'm going to go and have a little chat to him now and hopefully he can take us to go and see them. So here I am, in the name of science, putting my body on the line. It's a bit tight, because your flesh meant to pour out of here. <laughs> like three biological explorers, we set off on our quest to find a new species. It didn't take long until I spotted some funky looking coral I'd never seen before. A circular, luminous orange disc lit up against the grey rubble backdrop. Oh, 
and I shall name the Fungia Bertii, aka Bertie's Fungus. It's important to note that divers should never touch coral. In this instance, the specimen was taken for further scientific research, all under the supervision of coral expert Professor Steve Oakley. Okay, so I've had a flick through the ID books, and what I can tell is it's definitely not a squid and it's not a type of shark. So what the hell is it? Well, the most common uh, coral like it is Fungia fungitis, which is all over the reef here. It could be a separate color morph, but it looks slightly different. Uh, and it's nothing else similar in these guides. So maybe it's an undescribed species. So Borneo from below have discovered a new species of coral, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe. maybe. Not only does coral look cool, but it's of vital importance to the planet and needs to be protected. As we've seen, there's still so much we have to discover. Through the hard work that Track are doing to rebuild and maintain the reefs here on Pompom, Pom, the future of Borneo's underwater world is looking a little bit brighter. <laughs>